hello everybody welcome back to the channel uh i know it's been a uh, quite a minute since my last pokemon video and i do apologize for that i've just been really busy with work and school and i haven't had time to upload a new video for you guys but um i am back and yeah um so a couple things that i know are the dodgers are playing against the padres in first round of the playoffs if you guys are baseball fans they are losing 2-1 in the series today's game five well, game four game four my bad and if they lose they are ultimately out of the playoffs so if you guys are dodger fans sorry for you <laughs> another news um i know we are two months away from the release of pokemon Sorry guys, I forgot the name. Pokemon Violet, Pokemon What is it? Um Citrus? No no no. <laughs> it's not citrus. It's uh let me just search this up for you guys. Pokemon Violet, Pokemon I'm gonna s i am know it's with a C, right? Pokemon Violet and and Scarlet. Pokemon Violet and Scarlet. But I am really excited for that. They released um, the evolution of Giraffe Rig, which is a pretty cool thing because um, they changed it to instead of Giraffe Giraffe Rig, it's a Ferif Ferifiraf uh, So <laughs> yeah, it's just a tongue twister. Uh, giraffe Rig is Giraffe, and then Ferig is Giraffe, but backwards. So Giraffe. Farafa rig uh, you know what I messed it up but that Pokemon does have an evolution which I think is pretty cool and I never used it um, I believe it's a gen 2 Pokemon I don't think it's a OG gen 1 but yeah and as you guys can see right now in this little cutscene we do finally meet up with Steven and let's see what he has to say is he going to say anything to us yep Look, let's go. Let's, let's see what he says. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, ancient Pokemon here. Uh-huh, Kyogre. I'm pretty sure, though, that in Omega Ruby, it's, uh, the mural is Groudon, actually, which make a lot of more sense, but... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I know we're going to end up giving him the parts, so... Yeah, it's pretty cool to me. <clears throat> I am excited though for um, the new Pokemon games. I don't have a Switch, but when I do get one, or eventually, hopefully, I will be getting one of those games. Right now, it's looking like Violet has a better cover art, but don't know which one I'm gonna choose. I don't have a preference for either version as of right now. Um, I don't really know who is going to be an exclusive of to what version. Um, I really don't have a preference anymore. When I was a kid, for sure, I think I would always choose the, the, the blue cover art legendary or, you know, because um, usually they have like a blue version and a red. Yeah, it was from the beginning, like fire red, leaf green. In that case, green would have been the bluer version, I would say. Um, what else? Like um, gold and silver. Silver. Diamond, pearl, diamond. And it's always been like that, but nowadays I don't really have preferences. When I did buy um, X and Y, I bought Y. So, it kind of broke my little streak there of choosing the cooler type or cooler color of the box art. In this tunnel, there's a lot of Makuhitas. I know in Pokemon Go, I have a, a couple of Hariyamas, but I, I don't like it. It's just not my, not my typing. It's just a regular fighting. It needs to have something, like Lucario at least. Lucario is steel, 
and fighting, which is a pretty cool type in my opinion, but if I'm going to have a fighting type on my team, I need to at least be the secondary type in like um, Blaziken, for example, Fernape, the starter, of course, and many other fighting types, even with Gallade. Gallade is fighting, I believe. I really wanted one on this team, but I didn't want to go continue with the struggle of having to find a route. So, yeah. So, if you guys have anything new to say in the comments, you know, maybe you guys are also interested in purchasing a Switch or even a new Pokemon game or any Pokemon game that you guys haven't played before just comment that down below and I'd like to know what you guys are are into uh, Pokemon wise or any games actually I know recently my little brother just bought a uh, what game was that uh, Mario Sonic Olympic games yeah, for the switch he has a switch but um it was a really cool a really cool thing to play we had so much fun playing the boxing and the soccer. The table tennis one and the badminton, they were a little difficult to play just because uh, it's been a minute since we've used the controls like that, but it was really, it was a really cool experience, had fun. Uh, it's my father's birthday as well, so we went to go eat earlier and we were playing before that. So really neat and then yeah guys just with school it's been a little bit busy just having to go to class and if I'm not in class I'm at work but I am gonna try to be more consistent on this channel I, I posted some vlogs here and there I'm not sure if you guys have seen him if you have comment down below uh, tell me what you like tell me what you didn't like I uh, appreciate the critique but I have posted uh, those, so at least it, I haven't been gone, gone for that long on the channel. But I do wish to spend more time actually giving you guys more content, more gaming content as I would like to. You know, if I had the time, I would probably be doing um, live streams. But as I said, guys, uh, Right now is not the time. Maybe, maybe next year, I'll put, I'll be available to put more time into as much as I wanted. But as of now, uh, it's not gonna cut it. But I have seen a growth in our channel. I want to thank all of our subscribers. We are up to 67, so thank you guys. Um, and we are getting, we are collecting our 100 views on most videos now. So thank you all I do appreciate it every little view means a lot to me and it may not be much to some other channels but I do appreciate it <laughs> since um, my first uploads I would just be getting about five views and I don't know if you guys could tell by the tone of voice but I, I feel like I used to be so much more awkward and I didn't really have much to say but it's kind of nice coming here and uh, I feel like I could just just chat with you guys and um, and like build up this channel so thank you all for watching and if you guys are big fans I encourage you to stay being fans of the channel and see where we go from here you know I feel 2023 is gonna be a big year for this channel and myself um, I don't want to put so much so much expectations and a certain number of subscribers or anything like that that I want to reach because as I said earlier like I do appreciate every little uh, accomplishment that we do make and every single accolade that we reach so yeah but um, I do want to complete at least three game um three games on this channel besides alpha sapphire of course um 
I'm not really sure which ones you guys would want to see. I was thinking maybe platinum, black, or white. Um, so platinum, black, or white, and a crystal version. So those three games would be the ones I'll, I'll be doing in 2023. Possibly even more playthroughs, depending on my availability. Um, best case scenario, I post multiple videos a week on just gameplay and I can maybe get five games done so that'd be even better for you guys I feel so those games would be like I said like platinum um, crystal let's just say white um, Y and maybe run it back with the with the Pokemon black and that'd be the lineup for 2023, I'd imagine, as we are still in October, so that'd hopefully be the lineup in 2023, and that'd be most of my Pokemon games, and for the year after, you know, 2024, maybe Pokemon Sun, um, Pokemon Ranger, and and then jump over to the Switch games eventually. So that would be maybe like uh, Shining Pearl, Brilliant Diamond, Sword Shield, uh, Legends of Arceus, Violet, Scarlet, and other games. You know, um, I know you guys watching this. Uh, I believe you guys are mostly Pokemon fans, but if you're not a Pokemon fan. I suggest you guys do comment down what other games you guys want me to play. I do have some Zelda games for the DS, like Ocarina of Time, uh, Majora's Mask, and I'd be, I think it'd be a fun experience as I never actually finished those games either, so maybe a Zelda game. Um, I do have Metroid, and other games like that, so I hope that in the next two years, I do have this channel um flooded with playthroughs and other things like that as and i hope you guys would like it and right now we did cast this magikarp i'm excited for magikarp as gyarados has always been one of my favorite water types and favorite pokemon always 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 even though as i got older I kind of knew that Magikarp's typing was the best with water flying being four times weak to electric, but it's always been one of my favorite Pokemon to use, and it's just a, a good Pokemon. I like how... I do love how it's um, it has a Mega, Mega Gyarados with a dark typing. It should have been a, a dragon typing, but... The dark isn't that bad. It reminds me of Greninja a bit. Now that I say that it reminds me of Greninja, it also reminds me of um, Samurai in Legends of Arceus because it does have that water dark typing as well. So that's pretty neat. Speaking of um, Samurai, though, really underappreciated Pokemon underrated in my opinion all those three you know um, I think they should have changed Rowlet they should uh, they shouldn't have been the third starter in that game just because the Alola region wasn't that too far off so they probably could have put in maybe like oh um, let me see let me think of something really quick for you guys. They probably could have used Trico, even. Trico. Definitely could see that. Or even Turtwig, since it is native to that area. Sinnoh, and then the region Hisui, which was the previous Sinnoh region. Uh, you know, I just think, I just think it would have been a, a nice touch, at least, to have 
turtle wig as a grass type option instead of Rowlet. No offense to Rowlet, you know, it, it is a really cool Pokemon as well, but just my opinion on that. And on other news, guys, NBA season is starting up. I'm not a huge fan of the new NBA 2K games. Uh, I kind of learned when I was younger that the games just kind of recycle. Nothing new about them. You can say this, that about most games, but um, sports games in general, really, they just have that update with the players that are drafted from that year's draft, of course. Uh, mostly the same mechanics and all. I used to have NBA like every year those games and just didn't really make sense to me so I'm glad I grew out of them it is kind of fun to play with friends sometimes but it's not really not really that not cool when you're playing by yourself no offense to any 2k players 2k lovers sorry guys I sound like a hater right now but And NFL season has started officially. I'm not sure if uh, we spoke about this in our last playthrough video, but it did start up. And some some shocking uh, teams, I would say, have, are the Rams, who are disappointing. The Bills, who looked like... Super Bowl contenders at first, who lost to the Dolphins, and Tua took of Lua, his injury, and it's been a wild, wild first six weeks, first quarter, no, no, yeah, first quarter of the year for the football, but I love it, it's one of my favorite times of the year to watch football, and it just brings some nostalgia. I'm watching Super Bowl games with my parents and my whole family around, you know, so it's kind of nice, I, I love when it comes around, and especially now that it's October, Halloween season, which reminds me that Halloween Kills, it just came out, or Halloween Ends actually, my bad guys, Halloween Ends it just came out, which is the latest installment, I believe the last or allegedly the last of the Michael Myers saga unless they ultimately decide to reboot it in a couple of years which they might well not a couple of years but maybe in 10 years or so maybe 15 they'll decide to reboot it and pick it up again just for the money grab but I do want to check it out and see if it's any good as I've seen most of them or, yeah, mo I've seen most of them, I believe. So why not just check it out, you know? For the one time. Another good horror movie that came out, however, was Smile. Uh, it was kind of, kind of, kind of creepy. So if you're into like scary movies, that'll mess with your head and get you a little a little scared a little psychological horror then that's a good one to watch but if you're more into like kind of comedic horror i would say barbarian justin long comes out and i don't i don't want to butcher his name but pennywise from it the newer movies i believe his name is like no i'm not even gonna try to say it I don't want to mess it up, but he comes out in it, and it has a lot of plot twists, and I wouldn't really, I wouldn't really say that it's, um, it's a classic horror movie, like, it's very different, you just guys just gotta watch it on your own, and let me know down below if you guys have watched any of those movies that I just mentioned or or you know maybe you guys have some horror movies that you suggest me watching down below 
I'm always willing to watch and always interested. What's another one for you guys? So, um, Horror Nights, HHN, Halloween Horror Nights here at Universal Studios Hollywood. I believe this is the last couple of weeks, so. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, I'm barely going to go again. I went for the employee night, and I missed a couple of mazes, but I'd want to I'd wanna go again. So, I'm pretty sure I'll be going in the next few weeks. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm just laughing at some posts that my friends said. But um yeah. <sighs> hmm. I've been watching um, something that my aunt said that somebody, somebody passed away, some famous actor. Not really sure though. Oh, maybe a Spanish actor that I don't really know, but. Hmm. I'm trying to see for you guys though. As I'm on Twitter scrolling though, this is crazy. Astros Mariners. The 16th inning. And then Dodgers Padres, it's it's been delayed as of now. Game. So but as I said earlier guys, if, if you guys are Dodgers fans then good luck. Uh, another disappointing season in my eyes if they get bounced out, especially in the first round. You know, they had to go ahead and sign Freddie Freeman to I don't know how many years or what type of deal he signed, but they do have a $300 million payroll, so the most expensive in Major League Baseball this year, uh, along with the Yankees, I believe. And the Yankees always spend, spend a chunk of change on their players. And But at least Dodgers won... In recent years to 2020 even though that's like kind of a mickey mouse ring that covid season and the shorting year but you know most of them think that's a real ring so that's on it's fine but disappointment of the year for sure for sure uh for me personally who i think is gonna win for sure i believe that the winner <laughs> of the World Series this year will be the Astros, Houston Astros against maybe the Phillies or maybe the Padres. But let's say San Diego closes out today and they go against Philadelphia. I could see it going to game six. And depending on where it starts, if it starts in San Diego. I can see San Diego winning and going to the World Series, but yeah, that would be my my pick, but Philadelphia, not so far off. You know, they're coming in hot, you know, being a, a wild card team against a great team as the St. Louis Cardinals always are, and knocking off the World Series defending champions the Atlanta Braves San Diego versus Phillies yeah I'm gonna say it's going six uh, I prefer the Padres to win but if it's Phillies I'm not surprised great ball club it's been years since they've made it to NLCS or yeah I believe they made it to the playoffs in like 2012 but lost in the first round but the last time I went to a championship series was 2010. So it's been 12 years since then. And San Diego hasn't had success like that in recent years at all. You know, signing players like Manny Machado, stealing him from the Dodgers, trading for Juan Soto. I think this is their year, it's now or never. But you can say the same about 
Philadelphia and having Bryce Harper and all the things that they went through just to build up a great roster. Almost uh, missing out on the playoffs overall. As Milwaukee was closing in on them in the last few weeks. So, uh, I can see it. I can see it. They're not a bad club at all. As for the American League side, the reason I'm saying Astros is because it's Astros Seattle right now. It's 2 0, and they're in the 17th inning right now at this point. Astros are ultimately going to win if they don't knock it, cl close it out today. It'll be done in far four. Yeah, I was going to say five, but I uh, messed up with four, five. I think. <laughs> so, Astros are going to close it out, definitely. So, Astros and then Yankees Guardians. For some reason, Yankees are having a difficult time with Cleveland. It's no need to knock on Cleveland, but they're not what they were back in 2016 when they made it to the World Series against the Cubs. You know, they were a decent ball club, their players, but they're not, well, in my opinion, right? They're not a, a really good baseball club this year, so if Yankees go, if Yankees advance against them, it'd be Astros-Yankees. We've seen that play out multiple years now. Astros would be on top. Easy. Astros win the next series in five. You don't stay? In five, for sure. <clears throat> so, at that point, you would have Astros, San Diego, Astros, Phillies, The only, the only way I see Philly or San Diego beating the Astros is if I, I actually can't see it at all. Um, I would say that that also goes to five or six, but doesn't go past seven. And it's possible that it, Astros could even sweep. You know, just the overall different level of talent on those teams. Even though right now, actually, Yankees are winning 4-2 in the sixth inning. If they win this game, they'll go up 2-1. to one. But they have struggled. They have. I think um, Lombre was a really good, really good pickup on our team. Especially since he's also that grass typing at Hoenn. There's a lot of water in this region. Being covered in water, that grass type is crucial. And I know we have Mikasa or Trico, Grovile, eventually Septile, and I'll have to make a decision whether I want to keep Lombre on our team. I'm not that sure as of right now. Uh, it's possible we could replace him or Lombre with maybe maybe a Crawdont or even Tinsel Cruel would be cool. Tinsel Cruel would be cool. Tinsel Cruel. Into cool, yeah, it'd be a nice addition to our team. I would have to make sure who we would take out and see what other Pokemon there is. If I do end up getting that crowd on the team, that would it would kind of look like Ashes with the <laughs> Sceptile and Crawdont, but as of now, the team. Not really worried about the end game as of yet, but Sceptile for sure, and everybody else. Good luck to them. See you. See the best one who could last. And just knocking out this Carvana right now. I just remembered of Sharpedo. Sharpedo could also be 
a really cool member to our team as I've never used one or crawled on foot. Those two could end up being our two of our Pokemon in the future, possibly. Crawled on and Sharpedo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Let me know what, what you guys' favorite typings are in the comments, so, as you guys probably know now, water is one of my favorite typings, as I said, Gyarados was a big favorite of mine, I always use a cool box cover, cool color, and usually water types, Kyogre, cough cough, <clears throat> but I'm just saying, that's my, one of my favorites, another one is probably, well, Ever since Fairy was introduced, it kind of changed the game, and it's been a, a cool typing that I like. But I've learned to appreciate Ghost, um, Poison, Water, and Electric. Those are probably my top four, but just to make it top five for you guys, I'll probably put Ghost, Water, Poison, Electric, uh... Yeah, I'll just say fairy. Fairy. I used to be a big fan of fire type Pokemon, but they're uh, they're not as good as they they seemed. I know I loved using the fire starters, such as Infernape, Typhlosion, uh, Blaze again. You know, sometimes I'd even use a little Charmander. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I like the, the sprite back in Gen 3. It was a really cool one to see Charizard, but those are my top five typings. And if you guys agree or disagree with my f top five typings, it's, um, it's not in order, but Ghost, Water, Poison, Electric, Fairy. Comment down below if you guys agree, disagree, who would you take out of that top five or just your top five in general. I'd always love to hear because I know me and my little brother were talking about this and his favorite typing is actually fire and I always tell him like it's not it's not as good of a typing as you would think especially with it being so weak to ground and everybody's running earthquake these days of course um, I believe talon flame and some other fire flyers aren't weak or have the levitating ability and aren't affected by it but I'm just saying it's, it's not that good and speaking of Talonflame though when I do my Y I may use Talonflame I know it's a speedster and it was really good in the competitive scene a little bit ago that is one Pokemon that I am interested in using my team <clears throat> but as I said um, that maybe in a year from now maybe two years but as I saw the, uh, that is interesting we just saw, found a mega stone I believe just there so hmm, that's interesting so whenever I see a little a little shiny object just press it and I noticed that in the forest in the beginning of the playthrough as well. I think episode two, episode, yeah, episode two, episode three, maybe. We were walking through the forest and Petalburg Forest, I believe, and Petalburg Woods, but same thing. But I walked by and I pressed A randomly and boom, uh, I picked up, a, up an item. So, kind of crazy. I do love how I've already adapted to the graphics in this game and I kind of know my way around the area. You guys know I'm a Gen 3 diehard player, so. But it is nice to look through and just see what kind of characters we see around. You know, it has changed ultimately. It's not going to be exactly the same, it's a little different, but. You still get that feeling of nostalgia, especially with the Pokemon around. Not a huge fan of how 
most of the newer games you, you can find you know um, basically most of the Pokemon around from different regions and although it is nice and it, I feel like it just takes away from the game I would hope that uh, they they decide to make a new Pokemon game that has a fresh new start kind of like how Unova felt when it released and you basically had none of the the original Pokemon that you know you you didn't have the original Pokemon and that you had played with before and it was like brand new Pokedex brand new Pokemon that you had never played with and it kind of felt like a reboot to the series just how like how Gen 3 felt with Hoenn not having or barely having Pokemon that you knew so Hoenn was like the first attempt at a little reboot from Kanto and then they had it again with Unova as I just said and we haven't really seen that since because in Kalos you were able to basically pick up a, a whole team that you had played with before from other games. So there wasn't really that sense of like new, new Pokemon. And then after Unova, no, after um, Kalos, actually, sorry guys. After Kalos with Alola, it was the same thing. Like, although they had the version, not, not the version exclusives, but the, the region the region typing the regional typings like Alolan Ninetales, Alolan Raichu yeah it was cool and all but it was still the same Pokemon just a different typing and they did it again with the Hisui region uh, later on in Legends of Arceus you know it's the same Pokemon but Hisuian regions or or you know like Hisuian version version um so i don't really like that i haven't played or seen any any gameplay on sword and shield so i can't say much but i'm assuming this is kind of the same thing as other ones so hopefully not not in this new violet and damn i keep forgetting i keep violet and crimson Violet and Crimson. Hopefully, after those games, when they're yeah, because at that point, after Violet and Crimson, there's gonna be talks about the Unova remakes, Gen Five, Black and White. So, I would just say, you know, have that new reboot after they make the Unova games, so you can have a fresh feel to the Pokemon games, and hopefully, give it more life to the franchise that we haven't seen in recent years but that's just my opinion i hope you guys have enjoyed this video though if you did remember leave a like subscribe comment tell me what was your favorite moments of the game and the gameplay so i'll see you guys in the next video thanks for watching